when we feel like we have been wronged by someone. It is a very human instinct to want to punish the person. This is why our first reaction to anyone who upsets us is often anger. We want to unleash our wrath and inflict suffering upon the person. Sometimes we feel that something unfair or wrong has happened. Sometimes we feel offended or slighted. Sometimes we believe that someone has stolen our ideas or we think that someone has lied to us. Sometimes we feel hurt and betrayed. It's really easy to hate someone who we feel have done something to us. In fact, in this day and age, it's also easy to get people to help us spread the hate around on social media. And this creates a spiral of negativity that we actually enjoy participating in. It is astounding how when we are righteously angry, we don't see our actions as negative. We see them as right. The more people agree with us, the more validated we feel. In this highly emotional state, we do not see how our behavior is actually showcasing all our insecurities and our lack of courage for not being able to address and solve the problem with the person directly, but to instead choose the easier option of cultivating hate. Sometimes we have people taking our side and agree that it's justified to hate the other person, which makes us feel incredibly validated and satisfied. But we're not happy. Not really, because how can anybody with so much anger and insecurities be happy? What's more, trying to inflict suffering and hate upon the person who has wronged us does not actually mean that we have solved the problem. Instead of taking action like communicating and working it out with the person, or when it's more serious, bringing our case to a system that can help us, we are actually allowing the person to get away with what they did because most of us feel like being angry means that we have already taken action. Anger is not an action, it is a reaction. Anger doesn't solve problems. Ranting about someone online doesn't solve problems. Hating someone doesn't solve problems. In fact, the best problem solvers in the world are those who are not clouded by anger and hate. So often, even when we are right, we can act foolishly, which doesn't help us at all. Ironically, we seek justice, but we don't realize that we are doing ourselves an injustice. Always take the action that brings you the least amount of suffering and the most amount of happiness. Be happy, always.